Y'all niggas got me hot. Yeah. Let's talk about some positive things. Let's talk about black events. So, oh. <laughs> Marsha, are there been some black events that you would highly recommend that you've personally enjoyed that you've been to that you say people need to go to these events? Um, okay, guys. So, there are so many black-owned events that are happening right now. Mm-hmm. There's a festival called um, Originals. It's absolutely lit. Literally, they're called Originals. They do black-owned events. It, they had a festival like two months ago and everyone and their mum was there and it just seems so, like, enjoyable. I wasn't personally there. But yeah, no, note it down. The Originals, like, it looked... They did their job. Like, everyone that came back on Twitter had good reviews. Like, mm. No one was saying nothing bad about them. Who, who was on the lineup? I couldn't tell you. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. But <laughs> it was... No, I'm not going to lie. I, but it was, yeah. it was good. Like, mm. I was literally... This is when I first was doing research back in the day but it's really good um recess if you'd want a good time i'll always highly recommend oh, yeah, recess yeah, yeah. like sing and scream it mm-hmm. um oh what else there's something called brunch vibe i'm gonna big them up you know because they have an event coming and it looks like it's going to be so lit um <gasps> there's something for loners like if you're by yourself guys so i'm going to an event this really I'm, going. I'm so excited i'm going by myself like by mm-hmm. myself it's for people that like don't have friends okay. that want oh. to make friends no oh. it's no i like the whole concept no, that's good, yeah. no honestly like honestly on my life i have so many people on my dms that message me and they're like we don't have friends i'm like oh, i can't come with you so like we need to be looking for do you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so i think this event is sick it's called speed mates um mm. i'm gonna have a review out on it on oh. sunday but like I'm, I'm here for the concept and the girls behind it. Do you know what? Can we just be like black women? No shade uh, again. But black women. Oh, yeah. not, it's never oh, shade. We yeah. love black I don't women. know how black men feel. Some it's never friends. shade. We love black women. Big yeah. them up every time. No, black women. I love, I, I love us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love us. We gonna do this right yeah. now. I love it. Black it's women. not proper if black women they ain't imagine. there. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like black women are really, in terms of the industry, yeah, like just, the amount of emails just, I've got from black moment. women and their concepts are so sick. I'm like, you, why we, is it we just blowing women. more like it's it really makes me sad to see mm. like i think people only think there's like three black owned events in this england again i'm not going to say the names because again you know someone's trying to work with people but i there I is know. there is so many the more big, we, we there's know so many people in this industry and it's like let's stop giving our money to this person because yeah. this other person's event is definitely popping harder than this person's and it's just so unfortunate you know what it is i feel like just people just don't know mm. they I don't feel, cause, and cause, that's I'm where i come into play guys make sure you all the people, people literally all the people that you just said i had I don't know any of these yeah. people. I don't, I don't know. Mm. Like, it, uh, trust me, if I knew, I'd be dead. But that's why it's so important for awareness because it's like, no. a lot of people yeah. don't know where to start. They don't. Yeah, and it's we like, don't know. We don't it's know. like, cool. Because like, some people, like, Googling motives ain't going to do the job. Like, it's not even going to happen. Because yeah. there's so many false advertisements mm. on Instagram and stuff yeah. like that. So, like, Having a platform like and yours. I'm sorry, I love my people, but I've gone to enough Yardie Motors. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I don't even know Yardie I am tired. Like, growing up Jamaican tired. It was actually really? so long. Is it? Growing really? up Jamaican. Are you going to believe him? I'm half Nigerian and half Jamaican. Oh, Bajan. Oh. Bajan baddie. Is he actually? That's me. I'm the no. Bajan baddie. No. He, he's, he's Nigerian. He's no. not. He's very Nigerian. To the core. Niger to the core. To the yeah. core. Wait, where are you from? Ghana. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, Jaquan. No, yeah. not Jamaica. What um? <laughs> what um? What um? <laughs> what um? <laughs> Even the way he I just feel like, like, just more aware. Like I said, awareness is important. There's a lack of awareness. There's a lack of awareness because people don't know where to go, and people end up going to the same certain type of places over and over and over again. And it's like, and that's why people start complaining. Oh, there's no black events. There are yeah. black events. There definitely yeah. are. There are. There's there a are. lot of black events, but we just need to be looking because even back in the day, there was an app called Dice. Where there still have, is an app like, called Dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so the, the, that app, that's you could just find the bare. Yeah, Dice was more constant. No, but back in the day, like in 2017, 2016, back in, it was just free events, free live events. And these people, like a good artists, like who are popping now, like Miss Banks, um, Becky Hill, all them type of people, they'll be performing, Sam Wise, they'll be performing for mm, free. Yeah, them yeah, events yeah. were so cool. So I'm grateful that you're doing this on TikTok now because like people are going to be searching like, where can I actually go to enjoy myself? Mm. I think it's like, it's very necessary. It's mm. needed. Like, 100%. honestly, I'll keep saying it. Like, I'm no disrespect to certain people. Honest to God, like, do your thing. Obviously, you, you've made it, you're established in the game. But sometimes I feel like your motives aren't even all that. Because I'm going to your motives and I'm feeling like I'm being harassed sexually. Like, I'm not coming here again. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? So, do you, think, do you think it's complacency from like, let's say like a lot of these guys, they'll have motives, they'll have motives that pop off and they'll build a name. It's like, cool. Now that they know that, you know, 
black people are only going to go to their motives or a couple others. They get complacent and they don't want to like reinvent the wheel or just... And I get it. No, I get it. Comfortability is a great thing. Like once you feel comfortable, you don't want to do what you need to do. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I feel like, as I keep saying, the black women in this industry really... I, I don't... Well, as it stands right now, when black people come, black women come to me and ask me to promote that stuff I don't charge them as it stands mm. but when a black man comes to me trust and believe I'm going to get my money mm. just because I don't know what your event yeah, is really going to give even you if you should. invite me for no even if you invite me for free I don't give a heck I will go I won't go I don't care like it doesn't oh let me not say that <laughs> let me not read my bag I'm here for everyone's events but I just feel like certain events trust and believe I'm going to get a l- big payment out of it because I'm just right. not doing it for free anymore there was a happening. sick black I think you were there Oh, but there's it? there's a sick black of um, women event. I think for especially women who are into film, it, black femme. Oh, black femme film, guys. Yeah, that I, looks I, really good. No, that one. If you like that one, like if you're into film, they, they, they do different type of stuff yeah. in it. So they do like yeah. get togethers, but Back, it, yeah. But that one, if especially a black woman that's into film, check out their page. Like that one, that's I was, it. It was sick. So like yeah, like black women are definitely that. killing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, when it comes to these events thing, and it's like, but there's not enough acknowledgement on it, and that's where I get angry. There's not enough acknowledgement. Acknowledgement on it. Because I feel like, I don't know what it is. And I always say like, F Twitter, F Instagram. I don't know, maybe not Instagram, because someone wants to get paid. But F yeah. like, <laughs> F Twitter, F that. Like, I don't care if you have clout on Twitter and you're getting retweets and your events, everyone wants to go to your event. I will really go to your event and really tell you people what's really going on. I feel like there's been so many events that I've been to that are bad and I'm so scared to speak on it because I'm like, oh my God, what if they try and count? Ca- I, I dare I, you. I, I want you to. So, you know what I mean? Let me ask Stop you, waiting. what makes an event bad? Okay, there's one event that I went to. Mm-hmm. It was shite. But obviously I was coming up in this thing. I still am. I'm just coming up in this little TikTok game. So um, they, one of the boys was like to me, oh, Marsha, do the review. Ram me my peas, whatever. I was like, cool. Um, so obviously I'm not going to be like, oh, this event was dead. Like I'm trying, you know what I mean? We're trying to be nice in this game. But a bad event is when you do not have different layers. Okay. So this is a stage and this is where the people should be. We should not all be on all the same, on the same layer. level. We should not be able to get to the bar and you should be able to get to the seating. That's not, that's not it. Okay. Mm-hmm. We need to feel a differentiation. Like I need to feel like, oh my God, there's a boy pre me, but can he come over here? Like I can't, I don't want, I don't like that. And when it's just two packs, especially we're in a pandemic, let's remember that. Mm. Even if we're not in a pandemic, but we, like, we are in. We, we are, are in a pandemic. Okay. As in, I keep saying I've had it cold for almost two weeks. Like I'm not in your mood. Don't be so hitch up next to me. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things that make bad events. Bad I DJs. I think it's bad organization. Yeah. yeah. Of like, people, nobody knows what's going on. There's just bare silence. Like you don't know who's coming on next. Oh, we're just having. Did it. I'm just like, yeah, I'm carnival. Did you not have time to figure this out? No, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm telling you, that's, that's guys, the thing that was hitting me. Young like Carnival, the, the organization's terrible. Disgusting. Terrible. The, the DJ was even crap. No, because why is it when they break from different artists, it would just be pitch silence? I just didn't understand that. It felt yeah. like, you know when you're in your room getting ready for a motive that's, and then you're playing music? I was like, okay, like... And your playlist and she has to go to the Yeah, next you're going one. to yeah. another playlist that you're and not even really feeling. Silence. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it was yeah, Kalani yeah. that irritated me the most because we were standing there for 45 minutes in dead silence. Damn. Was it really? What the hell? Yeah, 45 okay. minutes or however long in dead silence. I was like, what is going on in this England? Like, mm-hmm. I just don't I understand. So then them man kept coming on the stage. Oh yeah, we've had technical difficulties. I'm like, I get off the stage you're not going to fix it. it. Bruh, bruh, like, Go it, away. It Do you know what's so Go funny away. though? Like, all four of you went separately <laughs> yeah. and all four of you are saying it's shit. So yeah. now I know I'm happy I had a better Saturday than all of you lots. I'm so sorry, guys. Mm. What well, your Saturday Sunday? You really did. Shit. It's all right, man. Where was you? Yeah, because yeah, oh, Dreamland. Dreamland. Because yeah. the thing is, it was a toss up between Dreamland and Gam Carnival. You I was like, Dreamland, sis. I really should have. You should have. I lacked. James and I lacked. But I can't lie to you. Well, you know we talk about like levels and stuff like that. Access to the bar is very, very important to me. Super. Uh-huh. Especially if I, if I have no drinks with me. I need to get to get the bar and get drunk. Yeah, if I have no access to the bar, I'll be pissed off because mm-hmm. I'm sober. What am I sober for? Mm. No, do you know what I hate about motives? What well? was like, fam? Obviously, like in a packed venue, there'll be like a queue to the bar. Yeah, but the thing is, is like, when the queue to the bar is deterring me from drinking, not only does it not benefit the motive, as a promoter, it doesn't benefit you because you want people to be going back and forth to the bar. Spending money, so it looks so your motive looks good to the venue. Do you know, yeah, you. black men and women spend the highest amount at the bar when they absolutely. rent out these motives. No, really? I'm absolutely. no, yes, yeah, it's a statistic. Yeah, like we literally spend black women first, and black men literally come second underneath. We always spend the most at mm-hmm. the bar. Y'all come second. So it's like, mm. it's like when when people don't think about how to like you need to you just need to think. I feel like if you're having a motive, you need to think. Mm. Speaking of having a motive, guys, um, in a very near time near you, there will be a Marsha event. Oh. Oh. 
Um, um, I'm it, trying to get drunk. No, I, we 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 dare. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, there's gonna. I'm trying to have an event. Um, it's just this is just an inside some inside tea. Ooh, but I want to make it. <laughs> I want to make it the best party you've ever been to. Mm. You got DJs already? I already have DJs. Oh, I already fair. know. Who, I already know. No, yeah, I already. Don't, don't, I'm telling don't, you. Don't do this. Don't gas me. No, I out. haven't. Because they literally approached me like two weeks ago. And I was like, Am I, I was going back and forth. But then yesterday I just thought, why the hell not would I not do this? Do you know what I mean? Uh, so dude. um, yeah, I'm going to have a party suit. Well, an event. Okay. I'm not going to call it my name because I'm scared. If it's like Marsha's events and it don't bang, people will be like, oh, that Marsha girl. Hashtag Marsha. No, 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 I don't want it. I don't want the Sales. spade. I, was, oh, no, I don't no, want no. the slander. I don't, I don't want, want it. Want so it. I'm thinking, I'm just thinking of a name, but yeah, I want to have an event where it's so lit that you go home and you're like, oh my God, did that just happen? Do you know what I mean? I've already found the best venue that makes so much sense. I just think. Because uh, yeah. I've been deep in it. I'm like, oh, when was the last time I actually went to a good motive? Mm. I don't actually know. I, I, oh, I, I agree. Guys. I don't know. I've been to I a can't relate. Though. I can't relate. No, 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 no. no, I've been to a few decent ones, but an actual good one where I said, yeah, I enjoyed myself. Yeah. I don't remember. My no. friend's 21st. I actually don't remember. <laughs> Wonderland, guys. Wonderland oh, was no, where maybe it was this at. Is Wonderland. I really want to know that she sold it for me. Guys, I can't lie to you. Maybe it's just me. But because like, like I said, I'm not, like, I've just gotten into, like, black-owned events, innit? Where did you used to party? Where you from? Area. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Hackney. Well, I live, south. I'm from Hackney, but I live in South. Yeah. Where do you live in You've South? You've been living in South for long. I like it. South Hill. I've lived in Hackney long and lived in South. Don't do that. South for long. No, nah, he's a he's an East boy. It's I'm an East boy. I just fake you. No, it's time to give it up. No, actually, don't spot him. Don't spot him. Yes, it's time right. to give I it up. Anyway, so you're a South Londoner. Haters, do you not want to convert me to South all the time? East London every day. East London every right. day, but anyways. Where were so, you from in East London? Hackney. Ooh, this is around here. Yeah, where, okay. This is around here. So literally, Ooh, child so, ghetto. I'm from so, Hackney. So literally, nights out to me, yeah. From what I knew, nights out to me were either Shoreditch. It was Shoreditch. It was. It yeah. was. It was X O Y. I would say the guy don't care. X O Y O. It was X O Y O. <laughs> it was cargo. No, it was. It was, it was all of that. But that's all I knew about going out in it. That's yeah. all I didn't know. Like Go visions. Vi- I, uh, wait, 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 don't endorse them. Yeah, I knew uh, about I used to go there. But I ha- I'm not going to say too much, Even but I heard was there was still some canary guy okay. on outside yeah. visions, but anyways. And there's another one in vi- endorsing, in it? Yeah, there's another one, but I can't remember. Yeah, but why? in terms of like, like an event that catered to black people, like I didn't know that until literally recently. And I can't lie, I'm not even like blowing smoke up, but like, it was literally like when I saw Marsha's vlogs, because I, I knew about certain thingies, but then when I saw people review them, I said, ah, oh, let me go. I said, raw. Because I'm telling you, them TikTok reviews really saved me Honestly. because it was um the one that you went to. I saw a TikTok review of that place. And Which said, one? The yeah. one that you went to that you said the you spent like 40 pounds and you like for the ticket and it wasn't even that nice. Which one was that? Where did like, you go? Yeah, did was it you Lotus? Go? Oh, the oh, Lotus. Place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lotus, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a TikTok review of that, yeah, and they were like, that one out of yeah, ten. Again. They said it was really? terrible. No, it was you bad. Know what? There's certain terrible. TikTok reviews that I just can't even trust because yeah. that that of them, those bills them part. telling me, oh, go to this burger place in Camden, go to this place in Camden. You said a lie. My friend went out on the hottest day when it was, um, I think it was May. We went out to Camden. We was going to all these places. The burgers were sh- me do trash. <laughs> Please go Lotus and you see worse. Oh the my god, the was disgusting. I'm like, yeah, I can't trust TikTok anymore. No, you can't because these, you know people, what these my... Caucasian people be walking out saying, "Oh my gosh, so what we did today?" No, no, excuse me, excuse me. The melanin is where you trust. Thank you. Mm, I but thank I don't you. know. Thank you. I can't, I can't, but, now, can't like those melanin lying though yeah. because it's, it's, it's specifically about Lotus Bar. Yeah, I don't. Yes, I don't care. Please. These are the views of NK, not anyone else. So yeah, cool. Saving your I've never been to Lotus Case. I really no. don't, don't want to go. go. You don't want to go. You don't want to go. Because yeah, no, I'll, 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 I'll compliment them this. I'll, I'll say this. I'll say two good things about them. The music was banging. Yes. Um, And the drinks are potent. They But they take so flipping long to come. No, yeah. You're they, waiting for half an hour for one drink. They take long to come. But you see the food. See, because I bought them bunches, bottomless bunches, the food and the drink. The food... Oh, it was a travesty. No. But people always say that about brunches, you know. It's a travesty. Mm-hmm. But this one was a travesty, travesty. Because yeah, they, I think the first serving was like guacamole and nachos. Yeah, I saw yeah. that all over TikTok. Yeah, guacamole and nachos. Terrible. <laughs> they skip that. And there's some chicken as well. Some chicken bit bites or something like that. Not chicken bites. Mm-hmm. Can't I, I didn't eat anything. And I eat oh. food. I love food. No, no, it, but like it, it was the second servant. Like what well, the sh- the, sh- the skewer on the the, the meat so, skewer? So oh, that was dry. No, no. When I say I've seen, I've, I've I've felt unseasoned before, but unseasoned has never unseasoned the way that's unseasoned. No. Oh, oh, that's bad. Bad. 
know how bad it was. Looking like school dinners. That's so. Nah, it was, I rather eat school. Dinners. I rather eat school dinners. I rather eat school. I, I ate like school dinners. Mm. That I did not eat, and nah. I eat food. When I tell you I eat food, I eat food. I don't. Mind. I'll eat food. I couldn't eat that, nah. and everyone was surprised. They saw me. Like, my plate was empty. I didn't eat anything. I was famished. We gave out the food. They gave us food and we took one bite and gave it back. I was malnourished. It was nourished. terrible. What the hell was that with McDonald's after? McDonald's. I, I, feel, McDonald's. Like, I feel like Lotus, yeah, because it's like down the road from where me and my partner, where my partner lives. And I'm always on the go because oh, there's always so many black people and it just looks so lit. So I'm just, yeah. when I saw the negative reviews on TikTok, I was like, oh, that's so sad. If the, the problem is, yeah, the thing about Lotus is that the bottomless, like the drinks, because of how much value, like drinks wise, it's value for money. Because mm. if you were to go out there and just go for drinks, it would just add up very quickly. But the problem is, it's like, if you're getting a package, like you want the package to like be like everything be patterned. And the thing is like bottomless brunch as a package is not a good package. It's only worth it because of the drinks. So if yeah. you want to get like value for your money for drinks, then maybe you should go, but you're just going to end up wasting bare food. So it's like, yeah, but pick your poison. If you drink this right amount of drinks, so let's say you pay, let's say forty five pound for a drink, forty five pound your meal, yeah, you have to drink at least six drinks. That way, you've got your money value. But if I'll, not, then you've wasted your money. But I'll say this: the rum punch was, oh. yeah, that one. Oh, it hit with the, because they put Ray and nephews in the punch. That that's what Ooh, I need. Why can't they try you, play? as young adults, actually just step outside your house and just drink water? Get up! You don't do it. You don't do it. You don't do it. You don't do it. What's up? What's up? You are speaking. The one who was he not down in Bacardi in the park? Can you imagine? People of today need to understand what biblical teachings say. But did not Jesus turn water into wine? Hallelujah. Amen. Was he not with us? Was he not? <laughs> no, but this just goes back to the like the importance. Like I said, like the importance of like like TikTokers and social media people. Like, you lot have the ability mm. to affect these man's business, mm, and it's yeah. like it's you lot who are lying for the cash. I understand. Make your money. I hate them people. So. But yeah, no. but you're doing the public a disservice because yeah. every one of you. It's like, be honest, but be nice, but be honest. It's like you people that are doing skincare stuff that you'd be saying, oh this helped my skin," but when you actually do the video, you're not even using the products. Oh, that's like, the worst. Well, you have yeah, makeup on to do a skincare exactly, video. Exactly, and they'll be like- Make it make sense, please. What's her name? Um, Paige Cakey, when she was doing the acting one, when she was like- She didn't even do Let's thing. talk about Cakey, please. Didn't even she, touch her she put on so much damn shit, I'm tired of her. I'm so tired of her. Every single minute, you know on your, on your Snapchat, yeah? I don't follow her, but she comes up all the time on- Bro! Bro. I don't even Bro. damn shit. Do you want to subscribe now? No! No. no. Oh, get off my page. The, uh, 20 pound AirPods. I don't want to buy them 20 pound oh AirPods. Oh my God, I'm buying them for my AirPods. niece, please. I actually, she made me, she influenced me to buy them for my niece. I'm not going to lie. No, but my niece is in year eight, so I feel like she deserves AirPods. Oh, that's calm. Oh, no, that's the other fine. one I got actual AirPods for, I was like, I haven't bought it yet, but I was literally, she 20 pound me. AirPods. AirPods. She, she was, they're called AirPods. Oh, AirPods. Oh, AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> I got Nino, 20 Nino, pounds. Nino on this. <laughs> you know that's going to come in the month. No, I don't yeah, know yeah. when it's going to come. Fireman Sam Airbuds fam. <laughs> Crazy. No, I'm screaming. That's what you say. All cool. money is not good money because what is that part? Don't do anything for money. That part. I can't. Nah. Imagine selling something and you know that it's not even good. Honestly, You're just selling yeah. it because you got money for it. money, man. It I feel like, me. sorry, question. You're an influencer. Yeah. Yeah, okay. At least you're honest. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> oh, he is. Yeah, yeah. No, I think, yeah. If he said no, big influencer. No, I, I think he is. He's an influencer. Influencer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Claim it. Um, Future one. Have you been ever offered offered the opportunity to promote something and you just know, like, this is not it? Would, um, would you do so it? So? I don't even know. I feel like certain people's music I've had to promote and Hi. I just listen to it and I'm like, oh, God. Yes. So I just do one quick video <laughs> and they'll be asking for more and I'm like, nah, sorry. That's but I think music is okay though. But I feel like music is okay, but yeah. the products that I've gotten, I think every product I've gotten is nice. So somebody sent me peanut bar. I like peanut bar, so I ate it. There was different types. And somebody sent me books and then um, vape. So that I got a that, babe. I yeah, got a babe. I'm really having fun with it. And then every product I've gotten sent, I like I've liked. So I haven't yet to experience one that I've like. No, I don't want to do it. Okay. So I hope I don't ever experience that. How long have you been like in the industry for the influencer? Influence. I think it's probably since second year. Probably second year. I used to get like t-shirts and stuff. But this year, mainly since my TikTok started blowing up, I began. Yeah, I I only know you from TikTok to be honest. Yeah, not so, that I'm shading whatever you do. I'm, I'm <laughs> no, like, no, that's I what only, I've been doing. TikTok. Like, I know and, you're a TikToker. Yeah, but ever since then, I've just been yeah, getting different stuff. Mm. <laughs> Mister Chewing Gum. Mr. Chewing Gum. Mr. Chewing Gum. Right, right. That's right. Enough for me to promote, just send it with your price and there, and I'll. I'll so how do you negotiate prices? Because recently, sorry, sorry. I don't know. No, but like this. 
is really issues. Recently, some girl asked me to do something yeah. and I feel like I've been, I don't know if I've been bumped. I don't even know if I could tell you if I've been bumped or not. Mm. But she was like, what's your rate? I started stuttering. I was like, tell me what you think I should get you. Apparently that was what? the idiot. That's really. another thing with a lot of I, I don't want to say it because again, they're, people they're really listen rates. to my stuff now. Mm. They, but just, if, they don't know how yeah. to set price. I don't know how to set price. Is I don't know what I'm like doing. A rate for the video. It's for a post. Yeah, I feel like what you need to do is have a fixed price because I have a fixed price with everything okay. because my friend does social media management so she was helping me. But it's like, we have to think about the amount of time we put into that video and because these clients will tell yeah. us, oh, no, nah, I don't like it, you have to do this. There was a video that I had to do. I thought it was good. I sent it to the person and I went off to my little steak um, cation, went to Essex and that. Next thing I'm getting a message saying, <laughs> oh no. You need to change this. You need to do this. I was like, oh my God, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> and I have to do it again because you're getting paid for it. Yeah. So you need to think about the effort that you put into this and the ideas that you have to put because sometimes they won't even give yeah. you that. And idea. how much money you're putting They'll into their business. You do this from your and then give us back like, yeah. yeah. So always charge triple number. No, honestly, some people, triple number I is this again, I say I mean, black men, digits, I can't. Yeah, hundreds. One I black, no, I think so. Some black boy asked me to promote my, uh, I can say it now, I've changed my rates in it. My first rate was like 50 pounds. I had to go to my friend, big up Miriam boy, because she was on that really told me what was going on. Um, it was 50 pounds and he was like, we only have 25. Then I was like, you don't have a post then because then you can't afford <laughs> Then we don't have a post. Like, like, then you can't afford it. Like, I need to think about your audience as well. But at this point I had it 10K, so I was like, okay, maybe. But I was like, no, even then it didn't make sense. Listen, uh, if you go, you go choose that business. Yeah. If I was to go JD and that hat was t- t- twenty pound, I say you can't no. come and say I only, well, only have fifteen. Whoa, well, yeah. you can't buy well, then it. You don't have to shoot it. Yeah. You don't have to shoot. Take your business Wait, elsewhere. Like that's what it is. Your prices yeah, are man. your prices. No. You know what I'm saying because even like with photography, when people come to me and say, oh, oh they want, right they, they, they want to shoot. Mix. Yeah, they will say that they want to shoot. You'll give them a price. They're like, oh. I don't have I, that, I but don't. can we do this? I'm like, nah, no, sorry, you have to find someone else. No. It's not me being rude, but it's that I know how much effort I put into my work mm. and I know that I've built this price myself because I used to do from 50 to now doing this price. So it's like, you can't tell me otherwise. I feel like a lot of people, they'll come up to you and they'll think, no, your price should be like this because this is what you do, but they don't know how much effort uh, you put in. No, it does take a lot of time. So you know, like, I work 40 hours exactly. and I'm trying to make TikToks and then you're telling me the issue. They think it takes five minutes no, it to doesn't. make a TikTok. It doesn't. I'm you. I really say hi guys about five times before I'm satisfied. You'll you know? be sweating in that no, room I making would. a video. No, sometimes I get shiny. It's a lot going on. I'm just I, like, oh. I remember somebody commented on my video yesterday saying, oh, you're sweating. I know you've done this bad times. I'm like, don't you, do that. No. <laughs> because I've done it a lot of times you know today. What? You, when I'm you so get sweating. negative comments here, are they from people that you follow you? So I'm starting yeah. to block people now. Mine are from people that don't follow me. Don't They'll come with big paragraphs of negativity. And I'm just thinking, yeah. you're getting blocked now. So talking saying what? about, oh, underneath my wig, um, I'm bold, blah, blah, blah. And they were trying to send shade at me. Okay, and I like, went up to the account, I was like, wait, you're following me. Okay. At least they follow you. They don't even follow me. They were right, like, proper, you shouldn't go here. I don't know if she's saying the truth. If you don't know, <laughs> be going. No one told you to come and talk all this talk. And I'm not a blocker. I used to leave them, but then I was like, don't no, block. no. My block. chest yeah, can't yeah. let this. You know what the best block thing delete. Do? Yeah. <laughs> If when they write a big paragraph, they write, you such, it. they write such. You do that, yeah, because they spend like ten no, minutes really writing that right, and they have punctuations. And I'm thinking, do you even think <laughs> I it's care? Instead of you, you focusing on your your, your dissertation, you're writing on about no, no. no, they don't understand. So you wasted your time weirdo. writing that paragraph, and I just spent two seconds deleting it. Deleted it and blocked you. <laughs> exactly. Bloody weirdo. No. You know what? That's gonna be mental health. To be honest, like I rate that still. No, you have to protect your mental health because I would literally look at these comments and I'm reading them and I'm like, do you know I read this? Like I actually see this. Do you not know? You don't want to be them people that keep going back and forth, back and forth. I don't want to talk. Well, I will never do that. People, people say, oh, you're always arguing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> don't want it. Just delete and block. That's it. Get out of my face. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, but gosh. This has been a dope episode of the Rare Podcast. Big up Barsha every time Thank for you. coming through. Yeah. Plug yourself real Thank quick. you so much. Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Marsha Brown. Mm-hmm. Should I look in the camera? Let me give a scold. Hi, guys. My name is Marsha <laughs> Brown. Um, I am a radio host, a presenter, a TikToker. Mm. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, follow me on Twitter and on underscore Marsha LDN on everything. TikTok, tw- TikTok Twitter, <laughs> and Instagram. Mostly Instagram, guys. Somebody's trying to get paid. Uh-huh. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Brand deals and sponsorships. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm joking, but do follow me on Instagram. I really have good content. Nah, man. We've got Marsha every time for coming Thank through. You so much for having me. Obviously, my dams, messieurs, plug yourself. Tell them where, you did, where they can find you, lot. You go first. Ashley? Yeah. No, you can go oh, first. Oh, yeah, this is what go first. A TikToker. Um, you can follow me on TikTok at http.jixon. What's this deep voice? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be professional. No, okay, go off. Let's go off. Oh, you can follow me on. So you do not Uncle Gwams? Um. <laughs> Oh no, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel actually. I'm, gonna start, I'm gonna start vlogging again. First video up on Sunday. Um, oh. Jixon. And then, yeah, follow me on my social medias. If you want to laugh, don't take me seriously on Twitter, please. Don't. Jayquan, not Jason, because I'm trolling half of the time. And then, 80% yeah, of the time. 80% of the time. 90% of the time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> There's only some truth to what I tweet. Yeah. That's where you can follow me. Sure enough. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. It's underscore life of Shona underscore X. And if you see the other one, that's not me. Like someone tries to do like yeah, I saw that. You know, they were doing that to bear people. They were doing that. I don't understand. No, no, because I'm so sorry. Because they posted they they yeah, posted their yeah. link to an OF, and I was like, this is not this is not my damn. It's this not is me. not. I don't have an OnlyFans account. Love. How many people yeah. have been doing that? No, they've been doing it to bare people. people. There's not enough reception in here for me to go and look. This is so. Damn. I don't understand. You know what it is? It's people asking me, oh, you got OnlyFans. Oh. Really? You know me if you have an OnlyFans account. <laughs> you know me. That's <laughs> no, you're all mad. I don't have OnlyFans I'm going to follow you guys, okay? Yeah. Follow, yes, back. We'll follow you back. We're back on that's social media. So I know, it's very sad. And people actually, my people I know are what? following back. I don't get what they do. So do they make people subscribe to the channel? Yes, they said see my nudes. Oh. Do you want to see my nudes? But nothing is on there. There's nothing on there. So they pick, oh. If I'm going to post nudes, I can't like it be my Snapchat first. It wouldn't be on Instagram. Not my Snapchat. Oh. You will see someone such like that. If anything, like do you know is no one even see me in my Wonderland fit yet. So why do you think you're gonna see me on Instagram? Do you know when you post a Wonderland fit, they're gonna use that on the go for bit, sorry. Please. <laughs> Actually, we're at my girl. Bajan. Um yeah, so my Instagram is Ashley.renee. No, I don't like the Vim. More Vim, please. I don't sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't have Instagram. Man. No, because yeah. her is she's a, she's a future influencer. Don't oh, do that. Let's think around that. Yeah. We, what we see, we, we're, we're seeing. Yeah, we're, we're Promote we're properly. You, you have to make yeah. a deal cover one of these days. I yeah, I will start doing like more like fashion content and stuff. So yeah, you look nice. Stay yeah. So yeah, Ashley dot Renee on Instagram, and then my Twitter is Ashley dot Renee. I think something like that. It'll be in the description. <laughs> It'll be in the description box. So guys. yeah, follow me. <laughs> Yo, people, it's your boy NK. Um, my my Twitter got deleted, oh, so oh, I've, yeah. got, I've got a new. Basically, okay. I must. I posted a TikTok and I had copyrighted music on it. Oh yeah, they said, they, they, they said bye Twitter. I'm telling you, they said bye bye. No, no. no, welcome to the club. This is my fifth account. <laughs> okay. So yeah, please follow me on Twitter. It's oh. NK Preach. So no underscore, just NK Preach. New Twitter. Um, follow me on Instagram, NK Grams. I'm. I, I barely post, but yeah, follow me on Instagram. Um, follow the man them at Wrestlings if you want to hear me talk about wrestling. Um, and yeah, follow, uh, follow, keep following Rare. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. This has been an episode of the Rare Podcast. We are signing out. Deuces. Bye. Catch you on the next one. Bye. 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 Y'all niggas got me hot. <laughs>